This educational video is brought to you by www.drowad.com. Light rays enter the eye through clear cornea, then through the pupil and the lens. These light rays are focused onto the retina, a light sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. Signals from the retina are sent through the optic nerve to the brain, where they are interpreted as the images we see. 70% of the eye's focusing power comes from the cornea. When people have problems seeing clearly, it is frequently because of a refractive error. There are four main types of refractive errors. Myopia, or nearsightedness, hyperopia, or farsightedness, astigmatism, and presbyopia. People with refractive errors must have one or a combination of these conditions. Myopia is also known as nearsightedness. This occurs when the distance between the cornea and retina is too long. Light rays entering the eye are focused in front of the retina, causing the image that falls on the retina to be blurred. Hyperopia is also known as farsightedness and occurs when the distance between the cornea and the retina is too short. Light rays entering the eye have not yet come into focus when they reach the retina, so again the images are blurred. Astigmatism is a condition where the cornea is curved unevenly. A cornea that is curved the same in all directions is shaped like a basketball or a soccer ball, while a cornea with astigmatism is more curved in one direction than the other, like a rugby ball or American football. Light passing through this uneven cornea is not properly focused on the retina. Presbyopia is a normal condition associated with age. It causes problems with our near vision. When we are young, the lenses in our eyes are flexible and are able to change focus easily between near and far objects. As we age, this flexibility gradually decreases. At around age 40, many people begin to need corrective lenses for reading. Find more educational videos and patient information material at www.drowad.com.